back and rewrite this contract this afternoon. So there's the tweet to the video, and before we show it, it's tough to watch. It's tough to watch, but it tells the story and it explains what's going on. Here you see Ray Rice in the corner. Uh, girlfriend, oh, this is already the end of the video. This is post punch, so hopefully we can re rack and see the whole thing. But you see, punch is thrown. You can't see her now. She's already on the ground and unconscious, being pulled out of the elevator. Doesn't cover her up, so we had to blur it. This is uh, this happened March inside this Atlantic City casino. It's disgusting. I mean, it's just disgusting. I think uh, everyone sitting next to me yeah. can agree. Here we go. Um, so here they have it, re-wrapped, the punch. She goes down. You get it. We don't have to keep playing this. So you know, you know the story, the backstory. NFL um, gave him this two-game suspension without pay. Uh, by the way, they're now married. They're now married. And they say they're going through counseling. Uh, we should mention domestic violence policy totally changed after this incident. But still, Rachel Nichols, host of Cena Dunbar, is joining me, and Lisa Bloom, uh, legal analyst for Avo.com. Can we all just agree, A, it's horrendous and horrible and disgusting, and, and fill in the blank adjective, and kudos for the Ravens to terminate it. Well, I'm not going to start throwing hosannas and plaudits to any organization that took this long. This long. I took an outside organization like TMZ to collect the video to terminate him now. So I think we've got to be careful about any praise here. And this is what I've been saying all day. If TMZ could obtain the video, the video is obtainable. There is no excuse that the NFL or the Baltimore Ravens are saying, oh,